Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to create Aweber subscriber from systema.io form submission. I want that as soon as a new form is submitted in systema.io through a contact or a new lead, automatically by using the same response, a new subscriber should be added in my Aweber account. So how we are going to do this process automatically and effortlessly? For that we will have to integrate systema.io with Aweber and for that we are going to use Family Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. Now what we are going to do, we have systema.io in our trigger and Aweber in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new form will be submitted in systema.io, automatically by using the same response, a new subscriber is going to be created and added in Aweber. And to learn this entire process step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically create a new subscriber in Aweber as soon as a new form is submitted by a new lead in systema.io. Okay, so let's start learning this process step by step. First of all, in order to create this workflow, we have to come on our browser and then we have to search for pabli.com slash connect. When we do that, this URL will take us towards the landing page of this software. Here we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account and it will take only two minutes. Also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks to explore this amazing software. But if you are an existing user, you can directly sign in. So here I'm already an existing user. There for I'm clicking on sign in. This is the all app section of Pabli where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. Now to create this workflow we are going to use Pabli connect so let's click on access now and it will take us towards the dashboard of Pabli connect. So here we can find all the workflows which we have created and to create a new workflow we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's click on it and now a dialog box is appeared in front of us which is asking us to provide a suitable name to this workflow. So let's give it a name. So I have given a name to this workflow as create a Weber subscriber from systema.io form submission. Okay. You can give any name to your workflow according to your choice. Now after giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save our workflows. So I have selected the folder as home. Now let's click on create. So as we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the basic concepts or the basic principles on which the entire workflow of this automation runs. Here we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. The trigger here says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. Now whatever we are going to select in our trigger, it is going to initiate the entire workflow and will command the actions to follow the scene okay so let's suppose in our trigger application for this workflow we are going to take systema.io and in our action application we are going to take a Weber and we want that as soon as a new form is submitted in systema.io automatically the response should be captured here and by using that same response a new subscriber should be created and added in our A Weber account okay so let's start creating this workflow we will select our trigger application which is systema.io Let's select it and in our trigger event we will select contact just subscribe to a form. Now here the trigger now here the trigger event is the event on the happening of which the response is going to be captured here in Pabli Connect and the entire workflow is going to be initiated. So we have selected contact just subscribe to a form that means whenever a form is going to be submitted in our systemy.io account then the response is going to be captured here. For that first of all we will have to integrate systemy.io with Pabli Connect and to do that we have received a webhook URL here along with some instructions which we have to follow in order to connect Pabli Connect with systemy.io. Now first of all let's copy this webhook URL from here and then I am going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So let me take you first to my systema.io account. So this is the dashboard of systema.io. Now from here we have to go on the funnels. So this is the funnel which I have created. It is named as lead. So this is the funnel which I have created in order to generate the lead. So now whenever a new form is going to be submitted in systema.io, this funnel is going to send a response of that form submission to Pabli Connect. Now how we are going to create this? First of all, we have to go on automations and then we have to go on rules. After coming on rules, we have to click on this create new rule. Now here we can find two steps, trigger and action. In trigger, first of all, we have to select our trigger event. So what is our trigger event? Our trigger event is funnel step form 
अनसब्सक्राइब ओके बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट दैट वेन एवर अव फॉर्म विल बी सब्सक्राइब और सबमिटेड इन सिस्टम ए डॉट आई ओ इट द रिस्पॉन्स शुड बी कैप्चर इन पैपली कनेक्ट सो वी विल सेलेक्ट द ट्रिगर इवेंट एज फनल स्टेप फॉर्म सब्सक्राइब एंड इन अवर फनल वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट लीड बिकॉज आई ओनली हैव वन फनल विच इज नेम्ड एज लीड सो आई हैव सेलेक्टेड इट नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज फनल स्टेप सो वॉट इज अवर इज फनल स्टेप अवर फनल स्टेप विल बी स्क्वीज पेज ओके आई हैव सेलेक्टेड इट नाउ द नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू मूव टूवर्ड्स एक्शन सो इन एक्शन वी हैव टू क्लिक ऑन दिस प्लस साइन एंड देन वी हैव टू गो ऑन सेंड वे बुक्स as we want that the response should be captured through web book because we have received a web book url from pably connect so we will select send web books and now here in the web book url field we have to paste the web book url which we have copied from pably connect done click on save rule and a new rule is created successfully and that means our web book is created now let's go back on pably connect and here it is showing waiting for web book response that means now we have to do a test submission it is written now log into the application where you have added the web book url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here so what we are supposed to do we have to fill the form for which we have set up this automation and then the response is going to be captured here so let me take you to the form which i have created this is the page this is the form named as integration which i have created for this particular workflow now as soon as a contact or a lead is going to fill this form and submitted automatically we are going to receive the response in pably connect so now we are going to do a test submission by filling up this form with the dummy details i am going to use dummy name let's say dummy lead okay and a dummy email dummy500 at the rate publicutes dot com just a random email and a random company name. Okay, let's say ABC. Okay, click on submit. So our form is submitted. Now let's go back to Public Connect and here we can find that we have received the response. Okay, so all the details of the form which we have submitted are captured here automatically. First name, last name, email of the person and the company name. So now when we have received the response through system dot io form submission, now by using the same response we are going to create a new subscriber in Aweber. Okay, so let's move on towards our action step. Here in our action application, we are going to select Aweber, and in our action event, we will select add or update subscriber. Okay, click on connect. and now here from the given options i am going to select add new connection if you already have an existing connection you can go with that also after selecting add new connection we have to click on connect with a weber so now we have to log in in order to allow pably connect to access our a weber account okay and in order to integrate a weber with pably connect so the login details are already selected over here let's click on allow access and automatically very easily my a weber account is successfully connected with pably connect so why it has become so easy because i was already logged into my a weber account before making up a connection with pably connect so you also have to keep in mind always to keep log into your a weber account before creating a connection with pably connect as it makes the connection easy and simple okay now let's move further next it is asking us account id which is already selected over here and here we have to enter the list id the list so the list id is the id of the list in which we want to create a new subscriber so here i only have one list which is already selected it is named as new customers okay. now as soon as a new form is going to be submitted through system dot io and the response is being captured in pably connect automatically a new subscriber is going to be created in this particular list okay the next is full name so so here we have received the response from system dot io which is our previous step so we will simply use that step in order to map the response here so it is asking us for the full name and we have received the name in the separated format that is first name and last name separately so we will map both the details here in order to make it full name okay so here is the first name we will by using a space we are going to map the last name also and it has become full name now the next is email so in the same manner we are going to map the email also so because we have mapped the data here instead of entering it manually now every time a new response is going to be captured in public connect through system a.io 
automatically these fields are going to be changed according to new response okay but if we will enter this manually then this data will become static and it will not change with every new response therefore in order to automate the entire process without doing any manual step we use mapping okay now after entering the details let's move on and here the next is update existing so if you want to update an existing subscriber you have to select it as yes okay now the next is tag so you can also assign a specific tags to your uh, subscribers in Aweber. So let me show you how we have to do that. So because we have received this response from systemy.io, so I am going to assign the tag to my subscribers as systemy.io. Okay, done. Now some of the details are not mandatory over here, so I am ignoring it for now. If you want, you can definitely add them. After entering the basic details, I am going to click on save and send test request. And here we have received the response. Now let's go and check whether a new subscriber is created in Aweber or not. Okay, so I will take you to my Aweber account and this is the dashboard of Aweber. Now we have to go on the subscriber section from the left side. Let's go on that. And yes, we can find that a new subscriber is created over here with the name as dummy lead and with the same email. So that means our workflow is perfectly successful. Now what we are going to do, we are going to check this workflow once again by submitting one more form in systemy.io with dummy details and we will check whether automatically without any manual process a new subscriber is added here or not okay so let us again go on systemy.io so I'm going to open the form once again in a new tab. So this is the form. Now I'm going to enter dummy details here. Let's say test name, test name, just a random email and a random company name. Okay, click on submit. And here our form is submitted again. Now let's go and check on Aweber that by using this response automatically a new subscriber is created and added there or not. So here we will refresh this page once. And yes, we can find that automatically a new subscriber is created over here, which is named as test name and along with the email. Okay, so that means our workflow is perfectly successful. Now let's go back on Pabli Connect and we will summarize what we have done in this workflow. So here we have taken two simple steps, trigger and action. In trigger, we have taken systemy.io and in action, we have taken Aweber and we have connected both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever a new form is going to be submitted by a lead or a contact in systemy.io, automatically the response is going to be captured here in Pabli Connect and by using that same response, a new subscriber is going to be created in Aweber. Okay, so here in this video, we have learned how can we integrate both these applications by using Pabli connect now this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can easily integrate many other applications by using pably connect now if you have any doubt you can easily email us at support at the red if you want to ask any query you can easily reach out to us at forum.pably.com and if you are having any pricing related issue with pably connect you can easily reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation